Inflammation and fibromyalgia. If you search the internet for the definition of fibromyalgia, you see inflammation gets disregarded. But why is that? When so many other chronic disease include inflammation as a contributing factor, what differentiates fibromyalgia from the other diseases? In 2018, new research shows that maybe we should consider including inflammation as a treatment protocol. A study by Massachusetts General Hospital collaborating with a team of researchers in Sweden has documented for the first time widespread inflammation in the brains of patients with fibromyalgia. The results from both centers found that glial activation in several regions of the brain of fibromyalgia patients was significantly greater than it was in control participants. Microglial cells are numerous in the brain and are responsible for tasks like immune response. So what's next for fibromyalgia research? Keep following Dr. Jared Younger and his team at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Dr. Younger and his team were awarded a grant to fund a new study using PET to track immune cells infiltrating the brain. They hope that imaging these cells will show why people have fibromyalgia. Also, Swedish research teams have been studying the muscles, the cerebral spinal fluid, and the blood plasma in fibromyalgia patients. Their studies suggest that an inflammatory process affecting metabolic energy production may be widespread in fibromyalgia as well. With all this new research, can we really disregard inflammation when it comes to fibromyalgia? I'd love to know your thoughts with comments below. If you found this video interesting, please like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for more videos on the Support Fibro Network.